In this video, I'll show you how to connect your Mac computer to your brother MFC J1205W and also how to print and use the scanner using Wi-Fi. So let's get started right away. First step is to go on your Mac computer. We need to download the software that will make this Mac see and connect to your printer. So go ahead, launch Google. This is the easiest. So on Google here, type brother mfc j 1205 w download it will bring you to uh, a few search results from the official brother website click on one of these first links then select mac select your mac version and ok now you're going to select the first option here full software package Okay, click on it, go down and select agree and download. Allow and the download will start. Go ahead and open the file once it's finished downloading, which it should take around two or three minutes. Once you clicked on the file that you have downloaded, click on this icon, press open, click I accept and then click next. Select the first option, which is wireless network connection. If you wanted to connect using a USB cable that is not included in the box, well, select the other option, but most people will want to use the Wi-Fi. So click next. Your brother printer will be showed up on this list. Click on it. Press next. Once you see this screen, press next. Then press continue, press continue, continue, agree, press install, and now type the username and password of your Mac computer. Wait until everything is installed. Then press close, move to trash. Perfect. Now you can close this, close, close everything that you just opened. You don't need that and open any files you would like to print. You can also go on the internet and find a web page you would like to print. Let's say I'm on this page. I want to print this. I'll go ahead, go on files, print under printer, then press add printer. Select your brother MFC J1205W and press add. It will be added and now under printer, your brother printer will be the one selected. Finally, select the range of the page if you want in color or black and white, stuff like that, how many copies and press the print button. Here we go. We got our print. Now, how do you scan? Go on the top of your printer, open the scan lid, place any paper you would like to scan facing down with the top part of this page towards the right side, like that. Then you need to align this corner with this corner. So simply bring both together until the corner with an arrow and your paper are touching. Close the scan lid. On your Mac computer to scan, you simply need to go on the top right corner right over here select system settings go down this list and select printers and scanners in this list then you need to find your broader printer which is in my case this one mfc j 1205 w and then click open scanner select your printer in the left side list Click on show details. Now the scanner will work and it will not save whatever you have put there. This is just to give you a preview right there. Now it's time to make sure these settings are the one that you want. So over here, do you want in color and black and white? The resolution, if it's just a text file, select 200 dpi. If it's a picture you're scanning, select 600 because this will give you the best results. It will also take more time to scan. This is the trade-off. 
Then if use custom size is selected, uncheck it and input the size of the paper. Um, in my case, it's letter size. Therefore, I'll just leave it like this. Next, scan to select in which folder you want the scan to go. I'll select desktop. Give this scan a new name. So scan this for the video and format. If it's a picture, choose JPEG. If it's a text file, most people will prefer PDF. Finally, when you're ready, press the scan button and the scanning will start. Usually it takes only 12 to 13 seconds if you have selected 200 dpi. And this is it, the file has been saved. If I go on my desktop, let me just close everything here. You're gonna see my file is indeed scanned. I can open it, take a look at it, zoom, see if everything is fine. And this is about it. Thanks for watching. I hope my video was helpful. If so, leave a comment down below. If you want to support my channel, click on the Amazon affiliate links down below if you want to purchase some ink or also I'll put links towards paper for your printer and even links towards other printers. If you want to get one, you're supporting my channel. Like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.